And going outside of Africa, the world is on track for 2.4 degrees Celsius of warming by the end of the century. That's even if countries fulfill new climate pledges announced at COP26 in Glasgow. Analysts working on the Climate Action Tracker project said on Tuesday, the Research Coalition Climate Action Tracker said the promises by countries attending the conference to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 will still allow the earth to heat up and far beyond the United Nations target of 1.5 degrees by 2100. Speaking from Australia, climate analyst CEO Bill Harris said the current gap between countries' ambitions was so big, analysts can't really see halting the rise at 1.5 degrees as possible. We found that there's a massive credibility, action and commitment gap uh, with the warming uh, that countries' current pledges for 2030 are taking us towards 2.4 degrees. Glasgow is meant to keep uh, the Paris Agreement's 1.5 degree limit in sight, but the 2030 emissions uh, gap is still so huge that we can't really see that being possible at present. There's a great diversity within these updates that countries have submitted. Some have clearly strengthened their targets, like South Africa and Morocco, whose targets are close to being 1.5 degree compatible under our rating system. Others are a little bit harder to assess, like India, which announced its update last week at the World Leaders Summit. Our assessment is that that would, at most, reduce um, its emissions a little bit below what we project um, is uh, that they will reach in 2030 under current policies. And still others have submitted updates with nothing new in them, like Australia, or even worse, have submitted a less ambitious target than the first target that they put forward, which seems to be the case with Brazil. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.